Hi guys. Mmm, 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 delicious tea. Mm. I just noticed that the closet door is open and a lot of you guys are going to be freaked out about this. Now you can pay attention to me. Hi guys. Uh, welcome to this very chilled, sit down, drinking tea type of video. Very YouTube-like. I wanted to film this video because I am not okay, guys. I'm having kind of a crappy time lately and I am a very bad actress. <laughs> I'm not an actress, but I am very bad at pretending that things are okay when they're not. And I know it should be easier for me to pretend and just like wait until this crappy moment um, period in my time, in my time, in my life is over. But um, I am not that person. I would rather share right away when things are not going um, okay. And that's why I wanted to share this. I was thinking of telling you about this or not because I hate when people complain. I hate when I share things with you guys that are not solved or there's not something like when there's like no positive outlet or um, conclusion about something. But since I am experiencing this right now and there's no positive um, solution yet to this thing that I'm going through, I am very awkward at sharing you, sharing you, at sharing this stuff with you. So bear with me. The reason why I am uh, down, I have been down lately, is because the planner, you guys, has been a nightmare to print. Um, I know I've said this already a couple of times on previous videos and my patrons know about this drama for a while now. So they're like, oh Fran, we know already about this. Um, but the planner, you guys, this year has been a nightmare. And I'm not saying this just lightly. Um, I'm saying it because it's, it's been truly one of my worst experiences printing something um, and like while having an online shop. I've been having my online shop for about four years now or it's going to be five in February now that I think about it. And it's been a wonderful experience. I opened my online shop when Ed and I were living in Berlin. We were really broke. We needed money and um, I just like seized the opportunity of uh, being uh, living in a city in a country uh, in which the postal the post system was working flawlessly so I'm like okay I'm gonna finally have an online shop and it was wonderful and um, the reason why I'm doing this video by the way and I'm telling you all of the stories because I realized that I haven't watched that many videos or I haven't read that many experiences about people owning online shops and sharing the dark side of having an online shop. Um, so that's why I'm sharing all of this with you guys because I feel really alone. I feel pretty lonely in this thing because when I see Emily Weiss with Glossier and when I see Tina um, with um, Tatley and when I see all of these wonderful women behind really powerful businesses, I do wonder if they are if they struggle with their suppliers or the, if they struggle, I, I bet they do, but it's just like since I don't know them and since I don't talk to them, I'm like, I do wonder if people go through the same crappy stuff as I am doing right now. And uh, when, when we were in Berlin, the shop was really in a very low and chill um, state. A good week was having seven orders a week and that was wonderful and we were basically living from the shop that entire time and i closed the shop when ed and i moved to london and in london i opened my shop again uh, that same year but for christmas season and that was amazing i had no idea my shop could have 23 orders a week and i was just amazed and so so overwhelmed by your love and your support and that, I don't know, just have the idea that I could possibly live from my shop and have a steady income of orders every week from the shop. And then um, I closed the shop for a while because we moved to Hastings. And that was also amazing because I, I still miss Hastings so much, guys. Um, if you guys have no idea, I moved to New York 
uh, New York City about three months ago. Time flies. And uh, New York is amazing, we all know that. Um, but every once in a while I think about Hastings and I do miss the city a lot. And in Hastings I felt so boss great because, <laughs> boss great, that should be a word. No, um, what I meant is that I felt amazing because, and really overwhelmed because I started receiving more orders from you guys. And I'm like, oh my God, this is amazing. And I started for the first time visualizing the shop as a main thing in my life like I could see myself having an office and having a team and I'm like I would love to have a stationary brand like a stationary line of products I I've, I've always loved stationary but this that was the first time that I envisioned myself having more than one product or like one more than one stationary like a sticker set for example and you guys started requesting products like more stickers or like planning range and a planner and uh, uh, at that time I realized that I couldn't work on the shop by myself because for in, in like really high volume uh, periods like pre-Christmas season I started working and packing orders for the shop four or five days a week so I had no time to film videos and do the things, the other things that I love doing. That's I think the issue with myself is that since I love what I do so much, guys, I, I just want to do everything. That's the thing. That's, the, that's my problem. So having the shop is never enough for me because I also love talking to you guys on videos and filming and editing videos. It's, it takes so much of my time. I also am working on a graphic novel and back then I was also working on a graphic novel. I also have Patreon that even though it's... Uh, relatively low maintenance is something that I still have to do once a week or twice a week um, and, and um, a bazillion of other little things so the shop was taking all of my time and I'm like I need serious help um, plus Ed was helping me a lot but th back then in Hastings and um, that was the first time that I considering uh, that I consider hiring someone and that's when I hired Jess which is the light in my life and she has been helping me for this past year and a half we turned one year old working together july this year and that was amazing and jess is basically in charge of um replying your customer support basically and and packing and going to the post office my main goal hiring someone was uh to please you guys because i was realizing that the only person who was avoiding or like not uh, enabling you, uh, you getting your orders was me because I'm really slow and I needed an extra hand uh, especially in like high demand like a very demanding time uh, each and every single like uh, special occasion like Christmas or whatever and that was really really cool but um, we have been having problems every time we do very big projects like the planner for example, every time doing a planner basically is uh, it takes um, as much time as doing a book because in my case, my planners and I'm, I can see them right there by the way, that's why I, I'm looking that direction. Designing a planner, it, it, it takes as much time as doing a book because in my case, my planners, they have different designs each pages and uh, last year I had to do like a bazillion illustrations for the pages because I want to take the time to make it special and this year um, I had the check-ins every couple of months and I had to I needed the time to like write the text and like compose it in a very really nice way and whatnot uh, but I remember that I don't know if this is useful for you guys but this is just like if you're going through the same crappy thing that I am, you're not alone. That's why I'm sharing this thing. Last year, I remember, I don't remember guys, but we did fab, like bags, dust bags for covering the planner uh, just so I could make it like a special occasion. And the guys of the bags, even though they're a very ethical, nice um, shop, I mean, no, they're, they're not a shop, they're a company. They just treat us like shit. So sorry for swearing, by the way. There's not a nice way of saying that. They were really unpolite and unprofessional to us. The first edition of the planner was really nice. They delivered everything uh, on time-ish. But the second time, uh, they just for they forgot about our order. And instead of taking 
uh, the four to five weeks that they're supposed to take to uh, make the bags they took um, something like three months to arrive which was horrible because um, in some companies you can see actually a timeline uh, where it's like when you order a pizza and you know exactly in which stage you can see what stage your pizza is being made like we're now cooking your pizza we're now uh, delivering your pizza your pizza should be and you can see a timeline anyway this was the same with the bags and we realized that it was in a, um, like in a very early stage for months and they weren't replying our emails or like phone uh, calls and then we found out that they forgot about our order they never apologized they were very rude to us and i'm like okay i am never going to do bags ever again with them and that's why i have never done a bag with them um with the planner has been the same thing very frustrating experience last year i remember i had the planner ready very early in the year because i wanted to have extra time back then i was about to travel to japan and i really wanted to have everything ready before that we had a few issues with some perforations the guys uh, at the planner company promised us that they were going to pay attention for the second edition that we shouldn't be worried about that because some of the pages had perforations and that didn't need perforations and some of the other pages that needed perforations didn't have anyway it was a mess uh, but since they were um issues on the inside of the planner i didn't mind i'm like i'm not going to waste a thousand planners just to like because of this tiny mistake i'd rather just like to, like no one is going to notice it but me so it's totally fine and they're like well promise you friend this is not going to happen ever again this is how they talk by the way um and surprise surprise the second edition came and they made the same mistake and this year the same uh um, printer company that we're using to print this year's planner it, it's been the same nightmare i'm like okay i am going to really organize myself i'm going to have the file freaking seven months earlier i don't care if this is like april uh may i'm going to have the planner super ready this year so we can if if something wrongs happen like i'm going to be super super prepared and organized and yeah you can you can see where this thing is coming um they took twice as long to print the planner and um at, at some point uh they took longer um no i'm sorry they took longer than expected like two and a half months to print uh, because there was an issue with one of the machines and when the planner finally arrives so we printed i don't know if you can see guys but we printed some copies of the blue cover and some of the prints i mean and, and some of um, some copies of the yellow planner and all of the yellow cover planners and that's why it's not for sale currently we're hoping it will be in the future all of the yellow cover planners arrive with very noticeable stains and um, for a long time they blame us they thought it was our fault that the file that we sent them um, had like some issues and that's why all of the planners the yellow cover planners had those stains which is silly because they sent me those copies that you can see right here and those copies didn't have any stains on them so they were blame blaming us basically for something that we didn't do like we had nothing to do with it since we had no idea what to do like wait for the other planner like what should we do should we print this again should we ask for a refund and that's why i think i'm blaming myself a lot for this because i waited so long for them to give me a response and that's why i couldn't prepare like a more like happy lunch for this planner and now that's basically they're going to print the planner again and it's been it's been a nightmare you guys and uh especially because you put so much heart and time and effort and sweat and blood and tears into a project and you have so it's not that you have high expectations on something but you think it's everything is going to work somehow fine because you have been giving not only a lot of your time to this project and you know it's a good product but since you have such a large margin on t of time that you i thought very na in a very naive way that that the time that i gave was enough so in case of an emergency or that something went wrong i had time to react but 
nothing I did this year was enough. And that's why I am not even in a very good place right now, because even though I am very proud of the product and I'm really proud of what I did with this year's planner, it's so frustrating for me to work my ass off on something and to feel that some people don't care and just like deliver the planner wherever they want and do whatever they want with their product. They end up blaming us for the whole thing. Um, they're now reprinting the thing again, the yellow cover planner, but it's been after months of insisting and being like really naggers. Can you say that? Nagging. Um, and yeah, I'm sorry if I am not my positive, my always positive self, but uh, these past couple of months have been really harsh, especially because I've moved in between and my shop currently is in Hastings. So everything that I'm doing right now, I have to do it long distance and coordinating something like this has been just like a very tiresome experience for me. I'm doing this video again, not only because I love sharing this stuff with you guys and because I'm a terrible actress and I hate pretending that everything's okay when it's not, uh, but because if you're going through some something like this, you're not alone. Talking to providers is ex extremely difficult because sometimes they're really professional. I'm not saying like, Providers should never make mistakes. We're humans, of course we make mistakes. Um, but I sometimes I expect people to be as flexible and as understanding and considerate as I am with them. Uh, I didn't mind, I mean, I mind that the planners last year had some faulty pages, but I'm like, this is okay, this is not a big deal, we can work with, it, with this. But when they're making mistakes on something as visible as the cover uh, and there's really nothing I can do about it, it's really sad that they're blaming me for it when it's clearly not my fault. Uh, a couple of, I think last year I, w I, I was about to work with a brand doing like um, some like greeting cards for Valentine's Day and they asked me for the designs for next year's Valentine's Day and I thought they were so... They were exaggerating so much, like, why are you asking me to do... It's January and you're asking me to do the designs for next year's Valentine's Day. But now I completely understand why, because you need at least one year margin to make projects like this. And I bet other stationary companies do the same thing. So even now, when I'm taking seven months in advance to do a project, I realize it's not enough. Not at least at what my shop is because um, I like investing on the shop and now um, I'm really lucky because I can print a thousand of something because in the long run it will be cheaper but uh, that also um, means that, it, that, that if there's any issues the scale of the issues are also larger than when my shop had seven orders a week. When I tell you this thing, it sounds like, oh, it's okay, it's just like an issue, friend, it will pass. But since it's been an, an ongoing, l stressful and really anxious thing for me to deal with, that has been, it's been like this for like months, I am so tired. <laughs> I am so tired and it made me realize that I need to reframe how I'm approaching my shop because it's not working out like this guys um, this shop and I might be exaggerating I am but this shop is killing me uh, it's become something that is making me feel so stress uh, uh, stressful like stressed and just like unwell most of the time and I love my shop I love packing orders I love everything um, about the shop, but this whole planner experience, which I'm sad because I love that, that planner and I think it's an, a great product. It's been so, it's, it's been too much for one person. That's the thing. It's been too much. Uh, when you're in charge of not only doing the illustrations, but designing a product, which is totally different of only doing the illustrations. When you're designing the product, when you're in charge of taking the pictures, of doing the promotion, of doing the social media campaigns to promote the planner. It's a lot for one human. So that's why I am like what I am right now. Did I say that correctly? Anyway, that's 
what's happening, guys. I wanted to shield you from this for such a long time, but I could, I just couldn't take it anymore. Um, I'm doing the best I can now. Thank you for listening to me blabbing about the, the whole planner thing. If you're going through the same shit, you're not alone. Here I am suffering with you. And um, that's the whole thing. Thank you for your patience and for being so nice to me. And thank you also so much, guys, for um, buying the planner because it's been a tough couple of months and I really appreciate your support. If you're not buying the planner, that's totally fine. Even if you're watching this video, it's enough. Thank you so much to my patrons because they have been listening um, to me about this for a long time now. You guys are the best. Yeah, I'll see you all next week. Bye guys, berry and flowering angle. Bye guys.